Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 and yesterday we had a really big patch and that makes me really happy because the developers are working really hard because I was a little bit afraid that this was a lost cause, this game that it will be abandoned, but that's not the case there is a lot of uh, stuff in the patch uh, a couple of reworks, I think Thailand and Russia and I'm going to give you guys an overview. But first I'm going to talk a little bit about this game. Because I'm playing the last couple of days a lot of Call of the Wild Angler and Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. And what I see is they got a couple of similarities. And not in the positive way for a fishing game. Because what are those games lacking a lot is the fishing. And that's a very big problem. What do I mean with it? I was playing this game yesterday a couple of hours. I locked, unlocked Thailand. It's a new area. I was never there. And after a couple of hours, I get bored with this game. Why? Because it's always the same. You throw a lure in the water. You do a straight retrieve. And everything bites on everything. Uh, and that's not really fishing for me. Call of the Wild is just the same system. You just throw something in the water. Depends on the hook size, how big the fish is, but everything is biting on everything. I had yesterday on dough balls an Atlantic salmon. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's the game. And that's something that I don't understand, because those two games, they give updates. They work really hard, but it seems that they don't want to work on the things that matter a lot. That is the fishing. And I'm not talking like a lot of people always say, yeah, but we don't want a simulator. It has nothing to do with the simulator. The thing is, if you make into depth gameplay, like the presentation matters, or uh, the twitching is a lot better, or uh, stuff like that, that's into depth gameplay. It's, it has nothing to do with the simulator. A simulator is something like you got one fish somewhere, you need to catch it, and it's very hard. It's like real life, three, four hours, that's a simulator. But this has to do with the basics of fishing games. And this game got the same problem. It getting so fast boring, there is nothing to do. I went to Thailand in 3-4 hours, I got all the fish here with the same setup, I got the biggest gear and then it's done. I can put some fish in my aquarium, but there is no thrill for fishing, there is yeah, nothing that you can do. That's the problem, and those two games got the same problem. And I think if they work on that, if they want to work on that, they will competitioners, uh, they will be competitioners for Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4, but before they do that, they will not be competitioners. And that's that's what it's going to be. But let's go back to the patch notes, because there is a lot in the patch notes, and let's have a look. So I got it on my second screen. First of all, uh, there is something very important. So we worked really hard in the past weeks to do the best we can before we will move to a big game overhaul. Caused by switching to an, an old new Unity Engine 2.21. I'm not sure what that means, but I think the Unity Engine is from 2021. It's the up-to-date one. Maybe graphic-wise it's going to be better, because physics-wise this game is not good either. The fish is flying everywhere, the fish is serving on the, on the surface. Uh, the, yeah, there is no presentation and, and it's very clunky the fishing in this game, the graphics are not really that great, it's very stereotype, it's not alive it's like here you got a tree, here the water is a little bit working, I never got the impression that I'm in a fishing part somewhere and that I think that I'm fishing in, in a fishing area, Call of the Wild does that a lot better that's something that I need to say. You think in Call of the Wild, yeah, this is a fishing area. In this game, you don't have that. I'm not sure what is, that's going to do with the game, but I think graphic it will be better, maybe more alive. I don't know. We will see. Then the next one, rework Thailand map. I'm not sure what they did, but I can show you guys it. I'm now at the boat. And uh, yeah, they got six packs. So let's go to the map. Oh, you cannot see it anymore. Can I exit this location? Because I never fished in Thailand before the patch. So I leveled to 27 yesterday. And then Thailand unlocks. But I can show you guys how it looks maybe. Really quick for the guys that want to see it. Uh, okay. Let's. Okay. Here you can see it. We got six packs. Here you got a boat that you can use. Uh, and you can go to the, to the water. 
I can maybe show you guys the boat because that's something strange too. So you can drive around with the boat. But first of all, this boat goes so slow. I'm not sure that's intended, but I think so. Now the boat is going. <laughs> it's like... It goes really, really slow. And if you want to stop the boat... Uh, I'm not sure how you can put the anchor out. I don't think there is even an anchor, but he keeps going. So now I stopped. But he keeps going at some point, he stops. And this is what I mean. So you can do this the entire time, but that's not really fishing. So I will do it meanwhile that I'm just talking about the, the patch note. So the next one, reworked control support beta version. I'm not really sure what they mean with it, but I think the people that got the controller, they know what they are uh, doing with it. Add the rework options to bind keyboard, mouse and gamepad controller. And I can show you guys that. So I'm using an Azerti. And uh, if we go to settings and we go to key binds and I want to make from A and Q, because that's, uh, I can say to you guys, it does this at the moment. Did they now? Wait, wait. No, they didn't do it. I pushed tap, I think. Let's try again. Let's push the Q. Yeah, and you can see what happened just now. I just went to another menu. So I still cannot change my uh, keybinds. I hope that they fix that. But uh, I think that Q, uh, they use it for going to another menu or something. But I cannot see it here because it's used to reset the throw so at the moment for me it's not working that great then the next one uh, added information in store about the owned items and that's really good and there is a fish and that's what i mean with this game and now you just push speed maximum and you just reel this fish in they look really cool i need to say they look really cool i put already some small ones in my aquarium but that's what you do in this game the entire time so it does not matter i can do i'm going to catch probably in this video 10 fish and probably two are going to be the same and they all bite at the same lure and this fish is like already dead or something i don't know they don't fight any they don't fight they are just that i just jerk them in here we go and then you get him in. This is a very big fish of 15 kilogram. And now we keep him. So that's how it works in this game. Then the next one. Uh, yeah, that was a store thing. So now you can go to the shop from here. But what is very good uh, is that you can now see what you own. And that's really good. I like that a lot. It's player friendly. Uh, so uh, it's always handy because in the past you couldn't see that. Sometimes I was like looking around and thinking, do I got that rod? Uh, where can I see it? So that's really well done. That's not bad. I cannot say anything wrong about it. Edit information button about fish net and fish weight in the main menu. Yep, that's this. So if you go to the main menu, you see here. Now you can see I got 19 kilogram of 170. I got two fish in it. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. So now you can see it. that's what I mean with it. Then the next thing, added personal statics, number of daily, weekly and monthly quests completed. I'm not sure where I need to find that, uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Cool, added possibility to switch between store and inventory. That's really cool too. Ability uh, added possible to open store uh, with the Y key. So let's have a look. Yeah, that works. So that's really good. Then added possibility to change weather under Alt O. So let's have a look. Yeah, that works too. I like that a lot. That's not so bad. Added possibility to change the time uh, under Alt K. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's good too. So we can just... It takes some time to do it. And yeah, that's good. So that's not bad. In the past, you need to go to map and you need to do it. Added possibility to custom name you, your fishing set. That's something that I like. That's something you just click here. 
and then you can put the name on it i like that a lot that's a little bit like the templates in fishing planet so that's not bad because sometimes it's very hard to know what setup is where and then you need to watch it and then you need to click it and all that stuff so that's uh, that's really handy what they did here then added missing item icon for yellowfin tuna i'm not sure what it means i already got the tuna here but yeah that's a nice fix added functionality to use the escape key as a back button that's very good i like that a lot because in the past how many times in a video i i wanted to go to the next menu or the previous menu and i clicked always here at the bottom and it wanted to exit the game but now we got an escape you need to have a look at this so that's really good uh, added blinking player name field in the profile creation screen oh there is another fish i told you guys it that's that's just the entire thing what you need to do here and let's have a look what we got now here we go it's another gray snapper it's a five star one yeah here we go that's what you get pro fisherman so let's throw this back in uh, so uh, I'm not sure what they maybe did but yeah I need to go to profile and I'm not going to do that so added all uh, LWR 2.0 for Beluga, European Sea Sturgeon, Tiger Shark, Black Tip Reef Shark. I'm not sure what it is, but I think that has something to do with how big they look. I think it's that. So that they look like the size that they are. Because they didn't have that. Every fish was just the same. So sometimes you had like a fish that was really small and was like 60 kilogram. I think that's something that uh, that they added added three new spinning rods the robinson nordic uh pilek 240 i'm not sure that it's added now so let's have a look to those rods uh so it's spinning i think is it spinning yeah it's spinning rods so let's have a look to new because they are saying this is new but this is not new that this was already because i bought this one already before the patch yesterday this is a Nordic Pilek 300 centimeters, so this is not right in the patch notes. Those three, they added them when we had the Christmas event, I think, because I made a video about it. So uh, they were already in the game. I'm, I'm sure of it, because otherwise I could not buy it. I had this yesterday already. Uh, so I bought the, the very big spinning rod already sooner than the patch. Added possibility to reset skills. Yeah, you can do it here. It's 5,000 uh, currency that you need to pay. And then uh, the updates. So they updated some. And is that a fish? Yeah, here is another fish. So updates. Adjusted lure bait ratio. And that's true. You can catch a lot of more fish. But what did I saw? That is that the fish are smaller. I, I started to fish on the keel in germany because i wanted to level to 27 and uh i had a lot of more fish i need to say that you catch non-stop fish you guys can see it here too but the fish is smaller so i think that somewhere they put something in between you catch a lot of more fish but now uh yeah you get very small fish too another problem that i see this is a 30 gram lure too you guys know that that's something that is not good in this game too. It seems not to matter really that much how big the lure is. Everything bites on everything. I got even those small fish that I put in my aquarium on the 30 gram one. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit. Adjust fish bait ratio. So I guess that they bite a lot better on the bait too. I didn't test it only lures, but it's just the same like lure I guess. Adjusted fish scale size. So ah, that's the scale size. Uh, so i'm not sure what they mean with it so the fish looks bigger if he's bigger the updated content on the help tab uh so yeah there is another fish uh so yeah that's four or five casts and that's non-stop fish that we get the entire time so for the guys that don't know where the help tab is because yesterday there was a guy i think on the steam forums that asked how can i see all the species in the game that's very simple you can do it in the help tab uh, what is this <laughs> a barracuda okay so let's use escape so if you go here to the help ah it's this one 
Ah, so there is more uh, help probably here. Okay, it's this is not the things that I wanted to show you guys. It was this one. So this was for the guy that wanted to know all the species. Update the teeth texture of the black tip reef shark. Update the texture for the mahi mahi. Then changes. That's a little bit further. I need to scroll down. Change exit and back bottom colors. That's really good. That's uh, for me a very good update. Because now you can go back. So in the past... You, you were always clicking somewhere, so really well done. Adjusted fish ponds in Russia, that's cool, but I never go into fish in Russia. Adjusted fishing line where in different scenarios. So, for the guys that don't know, if you throw in the water, you will always lose, uh, I think it's one meter of your line. That's like the durability of this game. Uh, but now they uh, optimized it a little bit. Because I'm not losing meters now either. Maybe I need to get back in. So the line is taken when player is set rot. Uh, when the fishing rot is broken. When fish will break and equipment will be damaged. So that means if you are just normal fishing like me. The line is not losing one meter for every cast. So uh, that's good. The line is no longer Taken when cast is reset, when you hit the ground, fish is kept or released, when a new lure or bait is put on. There is another fish. <laughs> so uh, that's already a little bit better. Did I just miss this fish? Oh no, it's just a small one. So uh, that's really good because I know a lot of people did not like that system a lot. Because yeah, at some point you just lose line for nothing. I'm not losing line now because... I'm keeping the fish the entire time, so it stays 97 meters. Then the next one, we are almost done. Change buttons, for example, boat response. Now they need to be hold for one, two seconds, so player don't exit, enter by accident. That's good. And then a couple of fixes, no issues that they are going to do. And uh, that's it, guys. That's it for the video. So, okay, they changed some stuff, but still, there is a lot of work. Uh, be done on the mechanics but it's already good that they are working on it again uh, I'm, I'm curious how the new unity engine is going to work out for this game maybe i'm going to upload a video about fishing here in thailand if i don't get very bored uh, i already don't have a lot of of uh fun at this moment so i think probably the video is not coming uh because you guys can see what i mean so in the video i just throw blindly i was reading and what do i got uh yeah all those fish so i even got the five star one uh and that's it so this one i'm going to put in my aquarium so to end the video i will show you guys my aquarium because that's something good about thailand that is that uh, there are very cool fish that you can put in your aquarium. So uh, let's have a look. Go to residence. And let's have a look. And here we got them. So we got those very special fish that a lot of people in Belgium put in the aquarium. So what is the name? Red lionfish and uh, red uh, lionfish, they are all red lionfish. I thought that I got another one. I'm going to give them a little bit of worms. Because my garfish is almost dying. But you can see it here. This I caught on, on, uh, on a 30, uh, 30 centimeter, uh, 30 gram. And that's really strange. So they are 0. Point, they are 1 kilogram and they are 42 centimeters big. <laughs> I would really surprise that they are so big. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a half of a meter. Yeah. But that's a very nice view. Thanks for watching guys. Have fun. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.